Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Tooth. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and this is the Gabfly. I finally got this after, you know, wanting it for a good long time. I always liked the design, especially because it had a really excellent MS in action figure. But yeah, Gabfly is a fairly high cost general with uh, uh, transforming capabilities, a long range rifle, and uh, that also has bayonet on the back end, as well as uh, uh, some shoulder beam cannons. I just tried to take a shot at that Faz, but that uh, Faz was too far away, so I just got out of its, the line of its fire of its uh, Hyper Mega Cannon. Because I really don't want to get hit by that. A couple of enemies seem to have come up towards our team. I'm going to fly up and hopefully do some damage. Tag the shield. Did not hit with anything else. Overheated my uh, boosters. Did manage to uh, uh, tag uh, uh, tagged my ally. This poor DJ, I hit it so many times trying to uh, trying to actually kill things here, but see, did not get hit, and just got to uh, get in there. But yeah, it's uh, it's it's pretty good, and I just tagged our Humber B. Uh, luckily, it was in the middle of the tackle, I believe, but yeah, I did tag it. I switched to the uh, spear because I thought that would be linear enough to get around the shield. It's not, but the uh, the uh, uh, melee downswing wraps around far enough I was able to uh, tag it from the position I was in. Tag that poor DJ again. It uh, landed a shot. I am close enough, hopefully, that I can actually get a shot in. And, see, no, I got knocked around a couple of times, which I earned, but I, I smacked them again and sent sorry, because I really didn't mean to do that. Like I said, that is just... That poor, that poor DJ just took so many hits by standing so uh, too close to me. It, it was really bad. Faz has no melee uh, defense, but it does have a tackle, so it was able to get out of my range. Hit it once with the spear, managed to do the, you know, melee uh, swap combo uh, quick enough to get one more swing in, and got it. And got another kill there. Yeah, so I'm doing fairly well here, because I find the gabfly a little bit hard to use, just because... It is, uh, it is an all-range thing, which means I, I'm frequently not sure what range I want to be fighting at. I frequently prefer fighting at long range, but that melee is really good. It can do good damage up close, so... Now I'm just trying to aim around that MLRS. I think I tagged the thing that was on... the uh, Aksaku commander that was on the ground in front of it. And, uh, let's see. Gonna move up, and... Shot. Yeah, I don't believe that the uh, Fadayan rifle has piercing. Uh, hope, uh, I hope it does, but I don't think so. But landing some shots here and there. Uh, shoulder cannon's not bad. And I've taken a lot of hits. I'm about to zip around the corner and try and get a shot off that Gerbera Tetra, but the MLRS fired its missiles through me, which... Uh, Karma, let's say, or actually poetic justice, because karma does not happen in the same lifetime, I believe. So, yeah, either way, it is a it is a, a just reward for the kind of you know clumsiness I was uh, I was uh, showing here. Let's see, missed that Gerbera. I think somebody's about to get the kill. Might even be me. Is me. Nice. But uh, you're going to see me even clumsier in a few days if the current schedule holds, because I was doing a request for someone where I unintentionally got way too far in character, so... And yeah, I believe the Gab Flea's, uh, and yeah, a, a collision kill, that's always fun. But I believe the Gab Flea's rifle has separate heat gauges for mobile suit and, uh, mobile armor modes. Which... Ah, I wish they'd make that a consistent thing, because sometimes, uh, s uh, some mobile suits do, and some mobile suits don't. The Gaza C, for example, does not. I guess it's a game balance thing, but to be honest, the Gaza could use some help, so probably best if it uh, didn't have the same heat gauge in both modes. But there's about 45 seconds left until the uh, ace is chosen in this match. Uh, ace match rules, once again, are ace is worth triple ki uh, points to kill, but everything they kill is worth triple points as well. So the recipe for success is let your ace get as many kills as possible, kill the enemy ace as much as possible and keep your ace alive. So it's it's a balancing act for sure. And tag that faz a little bit. And see, I've got a problem though, because I am stuck here and the entire team is dead. That Akzaku charged the faz, it did not make it in. And this is about when I realized, you can see me just go underwater and start boosting, because that is when I realized I am completely alone. 
I also realized about this point that I sh that I do have the capacity to be ace, so I should stop running and get killed before that clock hits three minutes. It did, I was, and I got killed before, so mission complete on all fronts. Uh, the enemy uh, ace is the Gundam Mark III that I uh, killed earlier. And hopefully I'll be able to do it again, or somebody will. Number five is out of their mobile suit trying to get to something. Not sure what the deal is, but I am going to regroup with two and three, because we need to bunch up and uh, try and even out this score. It's not a huge difference, which is why we need to work on it now, of course. But, let's see. A few seconds left. Got an assist. 500 point assist is substantial. Somebody's running away. I can't make that shot. Enemy ace is over there. Enemy ace is coming up. I'm just going to try and snipe them. I tagged them as, uh, as they went by, but not with a charged shot, so it did not stun. That's stunned, though. And am I going to go up after them? No, because the whole team is up there, and they're still, you know, peeking over the edge to take pot shots at me, so I that gives me an advantage. Ah, now they're coming around. Somebody else, I think, is about to kill them. That is fine. I need to get back with my team, though, because... Ah, I do not need to be isolated and let them all get killed and be alone again, because that will just cost us a bunch of points. So, time to get in and do damage where I can. See, the Faz, of course, as I said, much more su uh, susceptible to melee attacks, so I'm trying to get on it. Landed one, but of course it has uh, Shock Absorber, I think it is. I forget which uh, skill it is, and I am so, so dead, sadly. But yeah, I forgot I forgot that uh, Faz can withstand a uh, melee attack, so I did not stun it, and I was not able to do anything else to it. The rest of the team was dead, so I uh, nothing else I could do anyway, but I really should have been running away. Five's gotten back to their MLRS. I think they uh, ran over to take the last point, which... Ah, if I can get some kills, uh, our having all the points is good. It can actually be a detriment, though, at the end of the round when you're having when you're with a setup like this because the, it kind of all hinges on your being able to make kills rapidly to finish it off. And the best way to do that is have enemies spawn in quick. Got the Gerbera. We are close to retain, uh, regaining the lead. I need to get back to cover so I do not blow that. Faz is right up there. I might be able to fly in on it, but that is too reckless with this much time left. That is like a five-second thing. Or it's when it's ve uh, it's a when it's very weak thing. And now I'm stuck attacking something else because Faz died. And taking that shot, and also, yeah. And then, I, this is when I noticed probably, okay, well, they came up to meet me, which is good, but yeah. I am not playing like we have a 400-point lead, and that is foolish. Yeah, I'm sending for help because, yeah, if we all group up now and correct for my uh, recklessness in a, fl in a uh, flying mobile suit, we can still win this. That is one of my biggest failings. I like to fly around. It's neat. But, yeah, we've lost somebody else, but I got another kill, so I've made up the difference, and we just have to stay alive. I think I managed to... I body blocked for the Akzaku, which I think is why we won, which is, uh, you know, we didn't won. Well, dang. I thought I managed to block off the, the Akzaku, but I didn't get it done. Mark III's rifle has piercing. I'm pretty sure that's why we lost. Also, be, because I got reckless, which, you know... As the Rob do. Still a really solid round. Eight kills, three deaths, not bad, and just very close. If I'd been if I'd just been a little bit more conservative at the end there and pulled back rather than charging forward, we would have had it. But that is gonna do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2. We'll be back soon with more, so till next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later! If I sounded a little stuffy in this one, uh I'm fine, actually. It's just because I sneezed in the middle of trying to record this voiceover and had to start over.